Okay, last time we looked at our 2.5D game and we had established movement. Oh, gravity's a bit dodgy there, but we had established movement. There we go, nice smooth movement, which we can control via our player script using the speed variable. We've also got gravity at one, but our problem was when we added our jump after we added is grounded into our script is that we were kind of as you can see there, it's not really jump more than hopping. So we need to fix this um, part of our script. So uh, we need to understand what the issue is. So if we go back into our script, which is here, we can see that in update, um, obviously we've got our movement, that is fine. Vector three velocity equals direction times by speed. So that's helping us with um, movement, but also we took velocity um, dot y, as you can see within the controller dot is grounded, which is true. So whenever we are grounded, um, we were then from there going to try to jump. So from there, um, if the input get key down space, we would try and jump. And this is where we get our getting our hopping problem. And we're getting a hopping problem simply because um, the issue is um, with velocity.y and what's happening every single frame per second. As we know, it's 60 frames per second. So um, as soon as we get down to here where we want to jump, um, not even from a blink of an eye, the 60 frames, 60 frames per second are kicking in and the horizontal input, 0, 0, is knocking us back down, hence why we're getting this kind of weird hoppy sensation. So what we need to do is that we need to create a new variable. So uh, this is just a quick one. So it's a private float, and we're gonna call this underscore uh, y velocity. And we're not gonna put anything in there, so the default will be zero. We're not gonna serialize the field either. Um, we need um, just a private function to kind of get up there and be in the script as to say to the script, no, actually we are going to jump and we're gonna force um, the gravity off us with this separate Y velocity. Okay, so um, we need to get rid of these. So let's highlight Y velocity and we'll type in Y dot velocity there equals jump and then get rid of it here as well. Go. Cool, fantastic. So, and just under the else statement, we need to confirm to um, our script that underscore velocity dot y equals y velocity. Okay, so that should ideally sort us out for our script that should enforce our jump, taking it out of the ungrounded, um, being grounded because of the variable that's saved. Let's click play. There we go, Whoa, right, we've dropped down, that's nice. We can move, right, see if we can jump. Hey, there we go. So we have a lovely moving and jumping character controller all via scripting from scratch there we go see you in the next video